Hey, it's Mike with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Thursday. It's June 20th. This will be our chart lesson for today. And quick look at our daily chart. You can see that we had what looks to be a big reversal day. We, of course, we closed well off the lows. They rallied it later in the day, like they always do. Um, so we'll see what tomorrow brings. If we could push higher, we didn't quite get to the upper trend line, in my opinion. Uh, we're definitely in well overbought territory up here, so uh, we're overdue for a correction, whether or not that's coming yet. But you can see we didn't quite get to the trend channel line up here, so we could still go higher again. Um, we'll just have to see what tomorrow brings. But it looks like we turned a little early here for this to be uh, correcting just yet. So... I mean, we could go ahead and see follow through selling. Uh, this all started off the unemployment news. I haven't looked to see what what the results were of unemployment, but I'm guessing that the market didn't like something. But it's funny how this stuff always times to when you're looking for a reversal. So I don't. It doesn't matter what they say. They probably wrote it to ma match the price action. So. Uh, don't pay any attention to the news anyway. I mean, you have to pay attention to these red news items because they do create volatility and you don't want to be caught up in that. But as far as what they tell you, don't believe any of that stuff because they write the news to fit the price action. Uh, if you hadn't heard me tell the story before, you, I, you know, I used to long ago, I'd get up at 5 o'clock every morning, go work out, and I'd have my... Uh, Financial news going in the background, trying to gain some kind of um, edge for the day to, to help my trading, and it never helped. Usually, whatever they said it was going to do, it did just the opposite. I mean, literally 99% of the time, if they if they were expecting something to some news to come out that was going to affect the market, it'd do just the opposite. So you can't trust it, it even if it's true. It doesn't, you know. And then they. After the fact, they'd rewrite the news to fit whatever happened. So you just can't trust that. All you can trust is the price action. And like I said, it's amazing how these news items will come out just when you're expecting it to reverse or something anyway or to rally. And um, it's just amazing how that times out. And uh, it's it's all the price. It's all about the price action. That's all that matters. So follow the price action. Follow the rules and uh, you'll be 100% better off. But anyway, there it is on the daily chart. Let's flip over and take a look at what what that looks like on the 2000 tick chart and we'll go from there. And here it is. And you can see we had this spike. This is what I call a spike. And then we went into a channel. So it's a spiking channel down. Uh, we had a break right here off this rally. They tried to run it down and retest the lows, but just couldn't get there. And then we kind of went sideways so we did rally off the very lows uh, there's mo you're, you're better off I mean it's you probably want to see this bigger channel to kind of get an idea of what's going on here because it does help having this midline and then knowing this trend lines here but uh, I still think you have to be able to hone on in and find these smaller trends and trend channels um, to help keep you on the right side and kind of understand when the prices are going to reverse or get a break or turn or whatever. So it helps to hone in on here. I'll see people send me their chart and all they have is this big channel on here and the rest of it. They're just guessing at, but you've got to draw these shorter term micro channels and things. So don't lose sight of that, but let's zoom in here, go through the trades early on. We just had one leg down a correction and because that's a, really kind of two legs up you'd expect a possible measured leg down which we kind of met and then we ended up going much lower so this thing turned into a bigger sell-off than what i would even expect because a lot of times like you get these two correct two legs down and then it rallies like crazy before the day's over well that didn't quite happen today so let's zoom on in here you had to be patient there was the new unemployment at seven uh, came out at 7.30, so you had to kind of sit tight. It didn't really have much effect here. So whether or not that's what caused this to sell off, who knows. Um, and there just weren't any real entries uh, until there's a possibility here. Notice you've got the new low, and then you get a first entry, second entry. And you're not quite back to the 
EMA and you've got you can clearly see that trend line working up there so maybe you take that failure um, that's kind of a reversal type failure although you would expect prices to retest this low here so but again it may not happen until we at least tested the EMA we've been away from in a long time and all this is is a moving average that's the average price and so prices are not going to get far from that EMA for very long of a period of time and if the longer it stays away the more chances it's going to snap back and so that's why we use this line it acts like a magnet when prices if prices are mostly below it you're in a downtrend and if prices are mostly above it you're in an uptrend and um, it acts like a magnet when prices get away from it they it pulls it back like a magnet and when it gets there prices reject it like a magnet and that's what caused you can see in this downtrend here every time prices came back to that they're getting rejection until finally it's not strong enough and you push through and then you get a temporary rejection off this side before it starts rejecting again off the low side and then when it starts swinging back and forth that's sideways action so even though we are um, in a downtrend here in a bigger picture this is mostly sideways and whenever you're swinging above and below the EMA consistently that's sideways you can trade it both ways really so keep that in mind but um, I like that reversal right there just to write it just you're just looking for a scalp there to write it back to the EMA uh, most new traders would be better off just to skip that trade uh, that's a more advanced trade for profitable traders, people that have been trading a while and really good at reading the chart. New people, just stay away from those. Uh, and this actually accelerates here, and then we get a break and a new high, and then we turn down again. And you can clearly see it working this uh, trend line down through here until we get a break. Um, but this is a second entry short. Notice the new low, first entry, second entry. And it's a four tick bar, very low risk, very bearish. Just take that trade. If you take that, that's a really good trade. Runs down, then we're working sideways again. Uh, generally, when you're working sideways like this, you want to stick with the trend. But notice we did get a break here, and we got a couple swings to a new low, and then it finds a triple test here, still away from the EMA. By the time this closes, you can't take this bar, but this actually broke lower and turned and went out the high side on an engulfing bar, and that is completely almost a full body. So you could trade that on the engulfing bar, especially on a triple test like that. So the entry would be one tick above that bar. If you wait till this closes, I don't you, that signal bar doesn't qualify. You can't take it. And you're just looking for a scalp back to the high here, and it might reverse, which it ends up reversing, although it doesn't turn into a long-term major reversal. You still could have got a nice runner on this and these are all just first entries you got to kind of skip them uh, there is a second entry here but no good signal bar and that probably keeps you out of a bad trade um, there is a higher low here this is close to qualifying but again it, it looks sideways uh, we're still making lower highs and lower lows except for that one higher low right there so I think you skip that runs back up here and it and this is where you would draw your trend line and you can see it it pretty much confirms it there but i'd want another touch to be sure but uh this is the retest of this green channel and then um it'll once it makes a new high we could start down again and you can see we finally make a high here and then we make a lower high and again this is a nice colored bar so you could trade that as an engulfing bar and it does break higher first and turn down again I, if you wait till this closes you can't really take that it looks congested then but if you enter on the engulfing bar it turns out to be a nice trade and we're just kind of bouncing along here um, no real setup there and then you get two legs back up here again and this bar is what four ticks I think it's not a real bearish bar but it's not bullish either it's just and it's since it's only four ticks in the second entry uh, I like taking that trade you can clearly see two legs back and it turns out to be a nice trade there's a second entry here but not much room to the lows and then you're just kind of bouncing along but we do get a triple test here right off and you can see it working off that key entry point um, 
there's not much room to the lows here is the problem but you got the EMA you got the channel resistance and you got the trend line resistance all three uh, in confluence there so you probably take that trade it, it's not ideal but there's a lot of reasons to like that trade and the trend line's probably going to start back up again you're probably going to get a good move and sure enough you do this has moved too far this is a little breakout pullback short it's moved too far to be uh, a lower high um it's not off any key entry point other than a retest uh, which means it could continue lower but i would just wait because it could snap back and and turn down one more time off the trend line so i just i don't think you want to enter that you're basically having to, it, it breaks higher and fails and turns down uh on an engulfing bar but uh, i think you and it is a full body so if it was tradable you could trade it as an engulfing bar or wait till it closes but if you wait till it closes you probably miss it because it just kind of gaps over and keeps going that's a pretty strong move uh, but i just don't think you can justify entering there yet uh, just a first entry here first entry and then finally you get a first entry second entry with a nice signal bar right off the ema right off the key entry point i like that trade quick easy move you don't get much more and it turns back up and we head to the other side of the blue trend channel um and this one is a you got a new low here so you get a first entry second entry that's like a third entry um so i don't think you can take that trade it's really the first close outside um you don't know if you're going to get a break here or not but i think you just have to sit tight because it really looks congested um and you just you get a first entry here but no signal bar and then finally you get a first entry second entry now people will probably say that looks sideways but you don't have that doji or bar with a tiny body there so it is sideways action but it's not necessarily congestion and there's another reason we try to go higher once twice so it's a failed second entry long and a second entry short you don't have a whole lot of room there but this thing's been pretty bearish and you're expecting a retest of the lows so i like that trade good signal bar and it just takes off uh, there's actually another second entry right here this one's further away from the ema not at the trend line um you know it's one that you it's tempting but i think you have to skip that trade it works this time next time it break lower and come back to the trend line or whatever um I mean, you might argue for that to be green, but I'll just be honest with you. Uh, there's a lot of stem on that one, and we're just kind of in no man's land there. And if you draw your little channel or range, you can clearly see it there. Now, it does push on through and close below it. So, and you could trade that on the engulfing bar so i'll at least leave it green but i'm not crazy about it that one could fail rather easily but we rally here notice that we do make a new low just barely but we make a new low i'm pretty sure we make a new low there let me just double check that yeah you can see we make a new low there so we've got the break and a new low in place now so we could reverse but a lot of times this this doesn't this looks more like one leg so we could get another leg down so when you get this first entry second entry and you get the break of the green channel with two swings up and a nice signal bar right at the midline i like going short there and then you get a second entry short here with another big bearish bar with with enough room to get out so i like going short again and what you're hoping is you get a two legs down two measured legs down and you can see we didn't quite get there but we hit the other side of the channel and then it reverses and you don't really want to be picking a bottom you could call that a double bottom and it looks like rejection but that looked like rejection too it could do the same thing and turn down again i think you got to wait for something better than that and of course it runs up here and then you get a first entry second entry that signal bar is close but um everything's in place for reversal on this dark blue 
here and we're probably we just came off the lows of the bigger channel so we're probably headed all the way back up here so we've got lots of room if that's the case so I like that one and of course it does it runs straight up to the other side of the channel you get a break and you get multiple swings up and finally you get that little failed break higher right there that turns down instantly um, that far away from the EMA I like going short there you got to be careful with this one I did mark it green because you're basically trying to pick a top and you got to be careful with that um, we run back in the channel and notice how we try to we test it twice there and we also tested this upper thing multiple times you get a nice signal bar there's plenty of room to get out even if it bounces so I like that short and it just takes off there and then we're kind of working sideways you actually get two legs back here unfortunately you don't get a good signal bar it's a shame because that's clearly a second entry short right there but I don't think you can uh, you can't enter on that this is your signal bar the big green one this is just the inside bar and it's not even a good signal bar either and we bounce off the bigger midline here run up and there's another nice second entry it's just a little bit late there I mean it's 235 almost 236 I think that's really late but being that far away from the EMA it's probably gonna snap back on the second entry um, I didn't mark it uh, again I think it's a little too late but if it was during you know if it was just a minute or so after I'd say take that trade because we haven't made a new low yet so anyway there it is you can see the spike down we went into this two-tier channel we confirmed we def, I think we confirmed it right there but we definitely reconfirmed it here and then you get a break real soon thereafter but it starts back down like it's supposed to to try a retest we just don't get there and again they tried to rally it and they couldn't quite rally it back out of there so there it is today that's how I saw it uh, mostly all downhill today I know we did get a pretty good rally here but you would expect that coming off the lows of this big uh, channel back to the other side even if you're going to get a break which you did so again you got the big spike down and we just went into this down channel so uh, there were several second entry shorts today right off a of key entry point or something so uh, not a bad day uh, you know we've had better days but it certainly one one of we, we certainly had worse days lately so uh, we definitely had some movement today so that was a good thing and you can see right here this is why you don't try to trade holidays I mean you're gonna sit there all day for that or till lunchtime for that don't try to trade these days because you'll just get yourself in trouble you get caught in there and won't be able to get out and you end up taking the loss take those days off you need a break from trading occasionally anyway so um, short week because of that midday holiday we don't have many midday holidays like that but there it was but not much else we can say about today so I'm gonna wrap it up hope you had a good trading day it's Thursday so that wraps up our week no chart lessons on Fridays uh, so we'll be back Monday but anyway I'm done for today I'm done for this week hope you have a great weekend I'll see you Monday this is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.